Who Lives Who Dies is an improvised D&D show that may contain violence and adult themes. Content warnings can be found in the description. Yeah. And still. And still. And still they come. They yeah. Come. Hello and welcome <laughs> to the final episode of Who Lives <laughs> Who Dies. My name is Matt Bateman, your Game Master, Dungeon Master, Storyteller. Chaotic cat herder, outstanding orator, and one of the finest friends I've ever had. Aww. 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 Yeah. Uh, we're here to <laughs> finish a story wow, about it. some adventurers that have no. come together a million to one, traveled the world, fought God, won, lost, and everything else in between. Please introduce yourselves. Go on, Sasha. You look ready Why? to it. <laughs> I was literally drinking, right? As you're like, go on, Sasha. <laughs> While you have this liquid, why not you try and introduce yourself? I'm Sasha Burgoyne. I'm playing Myla for the last time, probably, maybe. I don't know. I'll probably just put her in another campaign because I'm really bad at coming up with characters. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll be a T-Rex god. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hi. For the final time, I'm David Cox. Apparently I'm dying. Uh... <laughs> And I have been playing Alexi Castor for some 50-something episodes. Is it 50-something episodes? This would be 28, so this would be 30... Th- uh, 63? Holy shit! For 63 episodes. Nice. He was a blood hunter. He's now a paladin. There's been an arc. Reese. Hi. I'm Reese Lawton. <laughs> you might remember me from playing Tut or Tutorial in the second series of Who Lives Who Dice. But I'm here to talk to you about something even more important. The chances of anything coming from Mars are apparently a million to one. And yet, a large cylinder has been found on I'm Naomi! (laughs) And I play four! And I made a small matching bracelet. Yeah, they all go matching bracelets! Look at matching bracelets! We're bound for life now. We are. Souls, Souls in touch. Who lives, who dies, blood in, blood out. Other bloods are available. Uh, <laughs> the young who lives who dies. She's had her bloods. <laughs> Someone took my blood. <laughs> Didn't give it back. Oh, Can't yes. put it back Jeff in there. Her? Sorry, that's Alexi. He is a real fiend about it. <laughs> oh. well, let's find out where our blood's gone, I guess. As we go to the moon on this final episode of Who Lives... The, the moon or, or Mars? Yes. Yes. Yeah, wait, yes. <laughs> Let's find out. I don't know. You're flying. Who's flying the plane? Naomi. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a T Rex. I can't fly plane. Can't I can't reach. Control. I can't I reach the control. T Rex drum roll, please. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> The group of you float for what feels like hours. Lifted from your feet, flying to the sky, the big, shiny blue moon getting closer and closer. And just ahead of you, that same spectre that Thor rode in on seems flying with you, taking the lead as Raleigh gets closer and closer to your vision. Suddenly, it begins to slow, and this gentle ease happens as you enter the thin wisps of the atmosphere and begin to make out what looks like a crude sort of landing site where you're at. As you look down, you see hundreds and thousands of odd blue figures staring up at you in simple garbs and hoods looking onwards. And Milo, with your passive perception, just beyond that you see Apart from this rather flat grounds, a tall tree with purple leaves, waves, and an otherwise non-existent breeze just ahead of you. You have a couple of minutes before you land, and despite the rushing sounds coming past your ears, is there anything you would like to discuss before you land? (laughs) No. 
understood. <laughs> Sorry, it's the spectre, the three of you, and then the T-Rex doing backflips, trying to hold in at the same time. <laughs> we should probably help Myla. Can I fashion some kind of lasso-like implement to stabilize a T-Rex? Can, you... can we? Can we? Can we put uh, Myla in a papoose? Yeah. Do we have some sort of? Dino papoose. <laughs> I have a scroll of slow, and I'm tempted to cast that just to watch a slow motion tilting T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> you um, cut. No, it's go. You, thinking quickly, cast slow, and as the three of you oh, gently land, and the spectre stops short, and in slow motion, Myla, head over foot. Crashes into, uh, crashes into the ground. <laughs> that is great. Face first. Face first. <laughs> I, I like the idea that we have uh, not not ascended as such, but we we are descending from another planet in a beacon of light, led by the spectre of death, and behind us, just very slowly, completely upstaging anything we would hope to do. Just this T Rex. Oh, Alexi oh, has given up on the concept of gravitas with this. But he's he's just standing there, <laughs> arms folded, watching this, going, "I'm I'm really having a lot of fun." We're on a moon, very low gravitas. Um, Inspiration. So, thank you. <laughs> Back on the funny ha ha's. This guy. <laughs> you were never off the ha ha's, my dude. It's it's. it's <laughs> Someone's throwing stuff. <laughs> it's all the dust from the T Rex has been knocked into the end. Um, <clears throat> yes. I, can I poke the shoulder of the spectre of death? Um, sure. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Sorry. Tap, tap, tap. It just goes. It goes right through. Huh. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. It slowly turns to face you. Yes. Hello. I am Toot <clears throat> or Tutorial. What is your name? Death. Hello, Death. I have a joke. Knock, knock. Who's that? This is as far as I had gotten. <laughs> I had not considered the punchline. I am sorry. Death. Yes. I'm Alexi of House Castor. Hi. Hi. The Raven Queen wants to ask me of restoring you. How can we... How can we save both these moons and Myla's people? They're not all T-Rexes, they're blue-skinned <laughs> elves. Yes, I'm telling him. Death opens their mouth to answer, and as you do, suddenly this thunderous cheer and applause from the thousands of, like, gathering, getting close as these blue and purple-faced elves begin to cheer in rapture, this hooray, praise the Val. Oh, just a moment. Sorry, Death, you were saying. <laughs> It is there ecstatic. Was... People rush you, pick you up, grabbing you, hugging oh, you, holding oh, no. you, giving a bit of a wide berth of to the T-Rex. <laughs> oh dear. And oh, this this oh, goes right. on for several minutes. You're suddenly grabbed and pulled and thrown around. Uh, the T-Rex is going to stand up <clears throat> and would like to pluck each person from the clutches of... Like, so they're just going like, huh, back, huh, back, huh, back, and be like, there we go. <laughs> That's that mess cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, they're praising the Val. The Val is very much not here. Ex exactly. And yeah. it takes a minute for that to sink in before they realize one small filverell girl sort of tugs at your trousers, Alexi. Excuse me, sir. Where's, where is she? Oh, at this point, we're dropping the T-Rex. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Um, <laughs> Fun. Seeing that, Alexi goes, here. God, it's so tempting to just be like, oh! <laughs> Every eye, every face, every head suddenly snaps and looks at you and in an instant. Uh, hang on. Let's let's see. Uh, make make a charisma check with advantage for me, please. And tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you this. want to do to enhance this as a party, yeah, you are you able to. You, you have an audience here. <laughs> I don't actually think I have anything I can do to help you. I've got, can so I use some sacred flame and press to do Absolutely. Yeah, do, like, like there will the be hair, light, cast, fire cast from light the sky. Cast staff, cast guidance, like, well, that's literally one everything. Okay. Oh, I can do levitate. 
searing, oh, fuck yes. searing smite on the on the staff, so it is just a beacon of light. Okay. Go on. With guidance, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen plus all this other shit. Without without an issue, <laughs> as as you, as you begin to raise up into the air, unsure what's happening, seeing four just subtly. No, but like, I'm rolling with it. Like weird as shits happened to me today. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'm levitating now. There's no, it's presumably godhood. I don't know. Not a single person is remaining on the feet, and all of them are now bowing to oh. you. Oh, I thought they were like cheering. The of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if we should. Later. Later, we shall. As long as no one abuses power, we're fine. We, um... Hello, Mr. Pot. (laughs) (laughs) Brutalize. Uh, You Um, take take two points of psychic damage. (laughs) I fucking do not. (laughs) Um... The, He's one of your wishes. The tree is like the biggest like focal point of this area that we're yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like it was in the distance when you were landing, so it would it would take Four. take a minute to Four. to walk there. Fuck, can you hover me towards yes, the that's tree? What I'm doing. Tree. Mm. I I is death still with us? Death death is currently alongside you at this point entirely. And they're not travelling in a direction, they're staying very close to the floor. Right, then yeah. I just you in particular. Do a little well, I did kiss them. Do a little <sighs> and they're like <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I'm like looking for anything serious. Right <laughs> um, I got time. <laughs> I am eternal. <laughs> oh, real red flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. He's willing to wait for me. Um, uh, I do a little little finger flick, and we follow Myla. Cool. It As takes Myla. a while. The crowd Aww. crowd excitedly. Some of them are a little bit keen to sort of come up and like, how 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 high are you levitating? Enough that grabby hands can't get her. Grabby hands down try handles. though, and some stand on shoulders trying to get through. Um, are you are you letting this happen, or any of you playing security, or are we just letting this sort of uh, carry on? Alexi will play security. Okay. <laughs> Two will occasionally be lifting up one like a child, and will be like, touch the hem. Yeah, touch yeah, yeah. Touch the hem of the rope. And then just throw the child over your shoulder. <laughs> Maya will, uh, Maya will throw it next. <laughs> <laughs> I would request another one, maybe smaller. <laughs> If there are if there are any dogs, pass them up. <laughs> Have Cats? you any pettable dogs? <laughs> are there any babies? I'm into kissing babies. babies. I, can, I can pat their. Yeah. There's a few babies. There are no dogs, but there are several blue squirrels that seem to be hopping in and around. The case sort of like white fox coming in on the back of that as well. Very well. Up you go. I will I will <laughs> gently pet some babies on the heads and, uh, and yeah. Also, I want to know what Cyril's doing through all of this. Oh, milking it. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> he's like. <laughs> Just alongside your little tail, like. Karen also, Nix is cute. Nix pops out of Alexi's jacket and will sit <laughs> on Myla's shoulder. It's been, been missing, been missing for a while. Good, yeah. good to see, good to see Nix back. And as you slowly make your way through the crowd, eventually you do arrive at this large tree, softly swaying, and you realize the tree, though rooted, is sentient. They are, and a big bow comes up at the tree waves at you and the crowd stops and you carry on for another 500 feet or so before meeting face to face uh gently like boop, 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 boop. Oh. I, la- I land as gracefully as i can which is probably not super gracefully <laughs> I'm, helping, I'm helping thank you thank you yeah. thank you yeah, yeah, yeah. um more graceful than the t-rex landing at least i think i think i'm like hey this is kind of your show now. Oh, I'm bad at shows. <laughs> Great. Don't worry, you have got this. Okay. Look, we'll, we'll help. We'll back you up. This, Feels they're like just lost. Yours. We, can, we can help them find something. But they just need someone to look to for a bit. Okay. I would rather that a grassroots approach was attempted, but I feel that a figurehead currently is necessary. And then grass. Then grassroots. Then grass. Yes. Okay. Well, we've got a tree here, so let's start with that and then work our way down the succession. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a fern or moss. <laughs> okay, okay. Step forward. Oh, hello. Hello. I will step forward. Step or float. If, if the floating is still available, we're obviously going to travel <laughs> by float. I, <laughs> you don't not touch the ground upon which you which you stand. <laughs> and this this great tree beckons and outspreads their arms. Welcome, champions, one and all, to Raleigh. 
I assume the presence of the Val. And they bow slightly. I'm really interested in saving the moon. That's kind of where yes, I'm so at. we're here to save the moon. Is that what you have decided? To forego godlike power and save yes. the yes. celestial body? Oh, Wait, yes. hold on. Just Wait, so that we're yes. clear. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. In foregoing this power, will that save the people that reside here? The people will continue to operate as they always have in some manner or another, unless great wisdom between yourselves can determine their fates otherwise. They are a simple folk. They have waited many a thousand years for It is a true. Day like we this. are a simple I am a simple folk. It's I believe I am also a simple folk. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> but my question more relies to the Will fact I that be used as a battery. Yes. Not if you so will it not to be. Can we will it without destroying this moon? Well, that all depends what you want to do with this one, and they gesture at the spectre of death currently floating there amongst the four of you. So I think... Toot, please. Oh, um... Currently, we are facing several dilemmas at once. We are attempting to ensure that this cycle does not continue. Mm -hmm. For it has been said earlier on that uh, this cycle has been at play every 5,000 years or so. So how do we break that cycle, continue existence for those, for the, I, I suppose the, oh, oh no. Am I instituting utilitarianism? Oh no. <laughs> Uh, happens surprisingly number. easy, doesn't it? Oh, that is upsetting. <laughs> yep. Oh no. Welcome oh, no. to House Castev. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they they laugh gently. Um, um, we we wish for death to exist because that seems to work better. Um, also, we, that would mean more smooches, I believe. Uh, yes. Well, de death to exist in what capacity? In to to perform their role for souls to once dead on planet to go I don't know, do they go somewhere else? I don't know what's the system here? Well they can go, this is your design. I am merely here to facilitate as the neutral party It is our design It is, it is <laughs> I have a question Please. So there's a simple blue folk hanging up here, right? Mm hmm Is there any reason they need to stay here specifically? No, they could probably go down to where they are like in where the they future. are in my time, yeah well then, that would leave this moon kind of empty mm -hmm. for hanging out. Ooh, moon base? Moon, moon base. Moon post, post moon life. Post moon life. Yeah, which I think would be kind of nice. I think that might be nice. Yeah, like a soul ascension to hang out on the moon, live a very simple... Yeah. Ooh, ooh, and when, when you're done with your simple life on the moon, you can go through a gate, and at that point you don't know what happens. But you're done with someone. Watch the good guys. <laughs> I watched a play like that once. I'm sorry. The what? <laughs> is this? Is, is this, this the bad place? Is this a bad place? I have not asked. My apologies. What is your name? Nata. Nata. Fuck me. <laughs> Hello, Nata. 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 Hello, Nata. Nata. Hello, Nata. Nata. Hello, Nata. I have something that belongs to you. In fact. I actually have two things that belong to you. <laughs> and the tree, she leans down and reaches out a hand and vines stretch out as if to take them. Um, who's got the bag of holding right now? I do. Uh, Myla's just going to kind of like, get it. Like, wiggle around in it and pull out the gem. Mm -hmm. And be like, you gave me this. She takes the gem and wraps it and... The gem shrinks and is absorbed, and as if she breathes, and every leaf flexes as she takes it all in. And this, not this chill, but this air seems to flow out from outside, and bluegrass seems to suddenly appear and breathe and begin to flow, and clouds part, and light seems to hit the heavens upon which you stand. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Rave moon. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I also, you didn't give me this, uh, but another friend came across it and then they didn't have any use for it. So in a way I've kept it for safekeeping, but realistically it's been primarily selfish purposes and she's going to take off her cloak and give it. 
I'm familiar with the concept of thievery. <laughs> it wasn't me. It's good to see you again. In another life, I expect so. And they take it and hide it away. Well, I believe, what path would you like to take from here? If you have some care for these people, it would be a first. They've not had a great lot in life. They've been killed and enslaved, like... um, decimated, flung out into space a few times. They carry a great power, but no one seems to understand what to do with it. I think let's, you know, let's try not to give, let's try to give them a good life and not to just use their power. That seems But not... what is a good life? It is great power. It needs to be kept in check somehow. Who are we to decide that? It is theirs. Well, who are you to decide to interrupt this thing that has gone on for eternity? You're here, are you not? You've brought the very essence of death with you to shape as you see fit. We did not bring death to shape things. We brought death... To restore. Yes. Which is a form of shaping. Nata isn't wrong. We are being very audacious right now. The devil has enough advocates. We are here because we... We're doing our goddamn best. Mm -hmm. I was not built for this. I was... I was I've, built for this, but I thought it was going to be a lot shorter. I, 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 I don't think I was built for anything in particular. None of us were built for <laughs> this, but moments like this, champions of we've been called, it's not people who are built for such a thing, it's those who rise to it when there is no one else. I am just no, happen to be here. I am no champion. <laughs> I you am are. no. No. I am no champion. I have never been a champion. I have never chosen this. I have been given options. I have been asked and I have tried, but I have never been asked to be a champion. I merely was in the place where not even I was needed. It is not right for me to decide the fate of people. It is not right for me to decide the fate of an afterlife. Mm -hmm. I have seen... The good place. It was a very good... <laughs> Ted Danson, surprisingly good. Un, un, unwittingly, very good clown. But also... I... I don't know if I am qualified. If not you then who and also I don't know that there's anyone more qualified in this situation there's, there's never been a situation where you haven't cared for the people around you and done your best and given them the options they need and I maybe that's what we're offering is to to give people the option I like that can we give them can we give them options that they determine can we let them choose free will mm -hmm. always Com complete always without any interference you wish to entirely step back and let things play out that. I, I do not wish to be an interventionist god that's not my business if if we really <laughs> think about it and we're not qualified, but I think, I think you and I believe that at the heart of things, people are good and trying their best. Yes, everyone can learn. And if we give them all the resources that we can. No one is beyond saving. And it creates a balance. I do like balance. I think I think what we're kind of almost offering is like a is like a learning reincarnation situation. Kind of feels like where we're at. That feels so. You do not wish to re break the cycle, but the cycle will continue to repeat and slowly improve over time. Reincarnate, learn, try again. Reincarnate, learn. Oh, maybe we just again. break the cycle and see what happens. But I don't. No. There are no wrong answers. I am simply here to facilitate. No. What would you do? 
That is the smartest question <laughs> to ask. I've seen conquerors, kings, queens, peasants, people lost on their way, and all think they have an idea one way or another, but we always end up back here. I don't think it's my voice to say what one should do or another. I think just utter chaos often is the fairest at the macro, but not the micro. Though I can see a great injustice done to some of you, a great yearning for others, a need to fill a void with others, and just sometimes just a need to fit in. Think about the things that you needed, whether that's structure or family, and give to others that you just didn't have growing up, and maybe that's the little bit of improvement you need. Just make it a little bit better, and maybe when we do this another 5,000 times, then it'll be ready. Or not, I'm just a tree. What do I know? Takes one to know one. <laughs> Myla? I mean, these are only my people in the sense that I come from them in 5,000 years. They're not my people. Well, there was a lot of cheering. And if we don't that is true. <laughs> restore your people, you never get to go home. No. But I think helping millions of people versus me going home. I mean, if you can do both. It, ideally both. Ideally but, both. But if I, if I fix this and that means that I never get to go home, I think that is a, a price I am willing to pay. Home doesn't like me anyway, so, yeah, it's not that Well, you've got 5,000 years to convince them otherwise. Well, yeah, you know, the cheering seems to be helping. (laughs) Well, my love, move (laughs) up! I have My mum's going to be so proud of me when I turn up and I'm the (laughs) Val. I have never had a home. I have never had a family as such. Would you like one? Because... There's one right here. We are not perfect, like all families. Some of us suck sometimes, like all families. <laughs> Every happy family is alike. Every unhappy family is pretty cool sometimes, too. Yeah. I do not know if I am qualified to tell you with families, with people, what you should do. I do not know how to tell them with families what they should do. I do not know. I... I'd like to be a little bit selfish. I don't want to... I don't want to be a bath thing again. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of over that. And I think it's even five. It's not really deserve that so if we could just five i I looked five sucks five really (laughs) really sucks i have never met five but five kind of sucks it's not their fault they just just how it is um it's just the way they were gooped yeah um so my vote is no exploding Restore death. Restore your people. Give as much free will as we can. Just hope for the best. What else is there? I would like... I would like people to learn. What if... What if someone stayed here? as a guide so when people had made their choices and had their lot there was someone to show them how to do it better next time and then if someone came to a tree and had to make a big choice there would be someone there who'd done it before to help them I would try 
I would like that. Yeah. Thank you for. Yeah. Um. I think four is just gonna say, like, if it's if if it's that moment for her personally, I think she's probably just gonna say no more. No more death of the moon. I'm very tired. Then rest, mm. child. Lay down. And I think she like turns around. Um. She passes a little jar to her buddy too. Gives you a little wave. Um, and then I think she runs into the arms of death. <laughs> and waiting for that, death takes, grips you tightly, kisses your cheek. And you finally slip into that comfortable blackness you've been looking for for so long. <laughs> what about you two? <laughs> As Toot stands there ready for whatever next step he takes. Myla and Alexa, you have probably the first quiet moment with just the two of you in a long time. What happens next? So this is probably it. Yeah. I have to say that when I left home, I was not expecting to decide the fate of my entire people and possibly the universe. Wasn't on the bingo card. I don't, I don't want the moon to keep exploding. I don't want people to be used as a resource. So where would you like me to send your people? They do very well in the Val, or what is the, let's maybe not call it the Val. But a, apart from that. How about the mile? The mile? It's a long stretch, is it not? It is. The mile. Done. A mile at the very least. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be okay there? They will, but I must say you essentially remove magic by removing them from this place. Oh, I, I think that's not the worst idea. Um, magic, it's wonderful. But it also causes a lot of problems and divides and maybe maybe a little time without it would be good for everyone. Well, it'll always be there. You just have to look a little bit harder for it. But maybe that's not the worst thing. Yes, I think people having to <sighs> learn to get it. Not in a not in not in a university sense. If there's a magic university, I will be cross. <laughs> uh, if there's a magic university, I'd quite like to go. Actually, <laughs> I'd quite like to run. <laughs> I see this god rivalry happening right <laughs> now. <laughs> and just this little root comes up. Listen, I've got the backing of millions of people on my side. You don't want to cross me right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Long Terrible bar! <laughs> <laughs> Long way from home. It's <laughs> <coughs> mm. a lot of squirrels. And my lost, lost friend. The moon remains intact. Yes. The people of the mile can go back home. And no more deific influence. No gods. No masters. 
my family have been at the whims of two gods and it turned them into monsters. So, and I expect that this might blink me out of existence. No car staffs. No car staffs. However, if I might, can I be left existing just long enough to see this one back home? I think we can arrange something like that. So, home might be better without me. It's up to you. I literally promised. What? I have some pull what? in that area. I'm sure we can make something work. What did you promise? That I would get you back to to Evran. I thought you just promised to stop the moon exploding and make sure the people were all right. I didn't promise it to you, but I promised to make sure you get home. I believe my exact words were, if it's the last thing I do, it's not going to make me turn into ash, don't worry, it's just a... I gave my word to a mentor type and I'd rather keep it. Not me. I just... I don't know if home needs me. What... What is it going to be like for me now knowing this and seeing this and that... Miss <sighs> Dead's not there, but like... No, you're there it in spirit. It goes to four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's always a seat on the other side of the tree. With a little bit of company. There's one last detail. We need to know what to do about death. How, how they operate. Needs a guide or a steward or a god or a personification. There must always be two. Life and death. Do you need a death? We need someone to maintain somehow. You don't need to become death. You don't, you don't. But it needs to be overseen. I would... I think... Can I work with two? I would like that. I will bring people who die to you. And then we can see if they have, if they want to learn more and try again or whatever else. And it would be nice to catch up. It would be lovely to catch up. Death (laughs) and learning. You've already done so much. Yes, and now I'm rather um, trying to come to the understanding that after all this time I'll be alone again. How would we fix that? I have an idea. And we'll pull out the mecha bucket and we'll take one of the living keys and the other living key. They work well in pairs, or more than that. It is hard to be alone, but some of the best learning can come when we learn to live with ourselves. And pets are good too. If you have a piece of toot and you have a piece of me and she will send Cyril over to you, then you're never really alone. And you can always come back here for a chat. It would be nice to catch up. (laughs) Well, if there isn't going to be magic, and no gods, someone should try and keep a sense of peace and justice, I suppose. Well, 
Go and see if I can do that. Remember a cap, though. <laughs> I don't wear hats. Ah, very well. <laughs> they look terrible with my bone structure. <laughs> <laughs> you. You still have a lot of learning to do, but so do I. So do we all. And I hope that the learning is not too painful. Well, I always did enjoy learning. I'm not very good at them, but I'm going to give you a hug now. Would you like to engage in the tutorial? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and reaches out and gives a hug. Pat, Pat. I am also not good at hugging. It's just a modicum lighter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you feel there is a, from the tummy drawer, there's a little kind of heat that generates. So it's like, warm hugs, I've heard are best. <laughs> yes. Heat metal. This is lovely. <laughs> I am currently using heat metal on all of the platinum that was left. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's very warm. Well, it won't burn, so that's... This is... nice. I have a final thought. Neither of you have a family anymore, and I guess technically in some plane of existence I do. Maybe I won't always be gone from them, but we could go for family dinner sometime my family will happily welcome you in and they are they're a family will there be games oh oh yes there absolutely will my dad like makes that. mechanical games i would like that very much and it would be nice to reminisce about old times yeah and we can keep a you know, an eye on what's going on. Not interfere, just out of curiosity. <laughs> May we... It is a silly request. May we keep a space for four? Of course. Thank you. I don't know why this is hard. Hmm. Interesting. What an odd feeling. I don't like it. <laughs> no. Hmm. You don't ever really get used to it either. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Is it always like this? It... Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> fuck. I will have to do this all the time. All the time. Everyone will come here. And I will feel like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> there is one now. <laughs> Seriously? The, door, the doorbell. <laughs> Seriously? I, the, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get it. It doesn't get easy. It gets. You get more comfortable with it, but it doesn't get easier. Well, fuck. Mm. Okay. It will. It will be a learning experience. I would very much like that. And, Alexi. Dude. If you get fucked up, I still have the ring, so, <laughs> you know, there's that. Thank you, I'm, I'm really quite tough now though. In which case, if I get fucked up, <laughs> I, then give me a bit of warning, but happily I'll take it. Ah, uh, all right. I will look about that. There is a very large dinosaur at your disposal if you should ever need it. That is pretty fucking cool. And I think as death, I can probably just pop myself to wherever I need to be at any time. So uh, that's uh, handy. Uh, beck that and call. Handy. <laughs> oh, no, I would not dream of that. that oh, is... I'd like it. <laughs> I feel like Beck and Cole is a good name for the spin-off TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a couple of seasons. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime you want. I am here. 
Oh, you'll be sick of the sight of me by the end of this. <laughs> I could not be. <laughs> well, I'd better get going, I suppose. Good luck. And then you'll get them next time. Enjoy being one of the pillars of creation. I am not ready for that. No, you're going to hate it. <laughs> You'll do fine. And I, I was a very bad pillar of the community, let alone bad <laughs> pillar of creation. I'm coming to you in a minute. <laughs> Honest, honestly, if you put the, the right cantilevers, you can make things fall on other people. I am <laughs> falling back into some very bad habits. Toot. Mm, yes. If you need anything, I'll be around. I appreciate that. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you kindly. So I'm gonna go. Okay. Happy travels. Knowing you has been one of the more interesting things that has ever happened to me. Ah. That's, that's, that's good to know. Knowing you has definitely also been one of the more interesting things that's ever happened to me. Yes, we've seen a lot. Yeah. I mean, there was all the the, the drinking blood thing, like that. I, I, I haven't seen I'm, that before. I'm glad, very glad that's over. The red eyes. The, those... Shame I never got to see them. I, they must have looked quite interesting. Um, Total lack of charisma. Still a thing? Ah, okay. Yes, that, I, that, I wasn't sure if that came as... <laughs> no, 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 um, hmm. I will miss you. Oh, you don't have to miss me. We're going to see each other all the time. And there is a lot of time. <laughs> I'm not uh, an immortal being. Oh, you're just going down to keep the peace until I come get you. Yes, so I'll see you in... Whenever that is. Mm. Look after yourself. Look after yourself. I please do not take this amiss. If that is what you truly want. I hope we don't see you for a while. And yeah. Knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Goodbye, Alexi. Thank you for taking me out of that tower. Goodbye, Alexi. Thank you for taking me out of that tower. Who? Goodbye, Alexi. Thank you for taking me out of that tower. I believe I have had a more interesting and richer life as a result. Also experienced a lot more pain. <laughs> I, I do tend to bring both of those things. Mm. A door materializes behind you. Look after Cyril. Okay, look after him. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Uh, we'll get a dog and I'll give you a lance. You can go jousting. It'll be fine. See, he's fine. Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> um, and remember, regular lunches with family. Send me a message. Oh, I can do that, yes. <laughs> and, um... Just in case it's a while. Uh-huh. I still do. I know. I wish I did. <laughs> but also <sighs> right now the universe is too big. Do you know what I mean? No. I'm really working on my own universe right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, uh... No, I often think it's too small. Ah. It seems like it's going to be a lot of work to me. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. We'll all be fine. I will be fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nata. Sir Alexi. 
See you in like two weeks. Really, my mum hates it if lunch gets cold on the table. So <laughs> <laughs> last thing you hear is the door. <laughs> so. So. I. I already missed them. Me too. So, so, uh, to, we'll open the tummy drawer and pull out the jar that four, four gave him, and we'll just open it. Um, I took in code thoughts, um, as like my little, um, extra cantrip, and what happens is you get you get an immediate thought from four, um, and it's... <laughs> gonna cry. <laughs> we're past that point. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Already there. <laughs> um, I, th- I think it's, uh, so it's your house. Um, and it's just four walking through the house and like... Is Alexi in a room aggressively stirring a tea with like eight books on his lap? And then, um, go past a room and there's, uh, there's a big bath and there's all the others are in it. You know, just hang now. And then. She walks through a set of double doors into this garden, um, just covered in like wildflowers and grass up to your waist, and it's just um, uh, Myla's there, just like <laughs> sort of uh, climbing a tree, um, jumping about, and then um, down the end of the garden is just you sitting under a tree um and it's just the last image is it's like four just putting her hand in yours and that's it (laughs) (laughs) well as nata leans next to you and begins to gently blow you towards death is there anything else you'd like to do or say before we close this out so do I have to wear the big black robe oh What's no the... no no this is entirely your aesthetic you can look like whatever you want okay okay any requests I think whatever's most comforting to the person or thing that I am transporting it's not a t-rex then Oh, for someone it might be a T-Rex. There's a lot of <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of ten-year-olds out there. We might just break this wheel yet. And as death takes your hand, and instead of that cold feel, it feels warm and inviting, and probably the most certain, secure thing in these weeks and months of experiences you've felt, and you feel yourself lift and the stars each go out one by one as the world resets again and toot as you focus and enjoy and embrace those final thoughts from your sleepy friend. They explode from you like a million different ideas and rewrite the constellations and for evermore when scholars or clerics, religious people, even young children, look, they will think of those stories and those moments that you and your friends have shared. Myla, in your time as death, despite always vowing to never interfere, you can't help but just check in on things from time to time. (laughs) And between the three of you, you do, you watch on those people 
and those comrades and those friends you've made and lost and forgotten about over time. You start at the northern tip of the Val in a little town called Raleigh and watch as two young Filveral girls, one with her nose in a book and another jumping up and down a tree, climbing and annoying her sister as Naywe and her sister Rari are called in for dinner by their parents. Alexei, you knowing of D22's past dealings, wait outside a dock one day and just distract a couple of stone giants long enough that your little robot buddy can continue doing what he does best and doesn't lose his master. To you find yourself in the southern village of, of Baymore, just drawn, hearing shouting and arguments, just long enough to see a stubborn young woman with a blonde streak burst out of the house and stop to look at you. Excuse me, sir, I'm, I don't know where to go. Would you like some help with that? Some direction would be a good start. I've always had an affinity for thunder. Huh. Well, I think we can help each other. Okay. Fucking dad. And she runs off ahead with you close behind. Deep in in an academy, a young green kobold pours over work, which is recognised. And the Karstow family never quite comes to be, but there are pockets as strong souls always tend to do. And Alexia, I'd like to hand to you, what would you like to become of any members of your family at any point? The first thing Alexia does when going through the portal is he finds himself. And You'll give them a choice. They can do things right and follow and make it a better world. Or he can be left behind in the old one. As for... As for his sister, Leandra. You'll find wherever she wound up. And... Whatever has happened to her since... The house was destroyed and, you know, everything was lost or the hole she ended up in. Alexi will just appear there one day and... Very sternly but politely um, Leah we're going to engage in a tutorial you feel you're not sure why you feel this almost like a heat metal <laughs> sense of pride <laughs> <laughs> and as we close out this campaign we cut to Thildaro in the little Amanadel household as an Alexei dragging a rather, shall we say, stubborn Leah almost late for lunch as you sit and discuss the happenings of eternity the great people that you were and will continue to be and that is where we're going to end. Love you, man. Love you, man. Love you, man. Very good, sir. <laughs> oh, also Godfrey. Is, uh, <laughs> Godfrey becomes king. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've been Matt Bateman. I was your game master, dungeon master, storyteller. Dreamweaver. There we go. Uh, for this wonderful series, um, I... A massive shout out, of course, to the dashing David Cox, the stupendous Sasha Burgoyne, the 
notoriously <laughs> never ending nagging <laughs> <laughs> existence. <laughs> Naomi Clark, the rambunctious Reese, uh, but also the gallivanting Guy Samuels, the resplendent Rose Redon, the champion that is Cheryl Berniston, the sheriff Charmody Bundle, uh, and the jamboree that is Jenny Bingham. Uh, anyone who's ever worked on this, especially Jeffa and Nate, thank you so much for all the work Ooh. you've put in. Uh, but also Sam and Stone as well for the little bits and pieces he's, he's done there. Uh, any artists, Loki and Aaron, who've made all this amazing art at some point, all the map makers, all the musicians, just this entire project has been a labor of love. And if you've watched even for a minute of one episode of one short of one dumb little joke I've made, thank you. It's been an absolute honor to make this for these wonderful people and you watching at home. So, that's that. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Bye, 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 bye. Kisses for the lovely people. <laughs> Thank you so much, Matt. Good job.